Hi Saints, I pray and I hope you're all doing well and as always, pressing into the things of the Lord. Cool. So just wanted to give a quick update um, regarding the Isaiah 62 fast. Um, I mean, as, as you guys know, I mean, if you watch my previous video, um, it was pretty much what was calling people to, or inviting people to, to take a part in something I believe is a, it's an historical event happening in our time which I believe is so strong because God kind of trusts me to this was like really, really dramatically in a way, in a, in a way. And so, and the, the sense that, okay, I feel like I need to call everyone that I know to, to, to participate in it because this is a God initiated an event and we got a prayer fire, you know. So hopefully you guys watch my previous video and check out the website, which got more information about the fast. So it's Isaiah62fast.com and yeah, that got more information. So the, the idea is that from, from, from May 7th to May 28th, it's a 21 day fasting and prayer, specifically for Israel, for salvation of Israel, and for God and time purposes to come to pass for, uh, for, for Jerusalem and Israel, specifically from Isaiah 62, which is why it's called 62. Um, and yeah, so as I mentioned, like, we, we wanted to create a hub, you know. So again, like, thousands of ministries around the world. I mean, just like millions of people are participating in this and some people are, uh, ministries or you know, house of prayers are creating hubs where people will go and gather together and pray. So we are creating a hub for ourselves. So, and for City of Land House of Prayer, we are having a hub. And so I wanted to invite you guys just to let you know what we are doing. So the plan is, so for May 7th, again, May 7th, it's where the, the, the first start until May 28th. And we are, planning to do at least, well, we are doing one hour. So one hour every day from May 7th. So, so this is Sunday. So one hour every day from, from 7.30 p.m. So 7.30 p.m. We do one hour uh, prayer specifically. And I, I'm, I'm going to get like in terms of what we're praying for. So I'll, I'm going to post in terms of what we will be praying for topic. I'll probably do that in advance. So each day we have a, um, a, a topic we're praying for. And in most of the scriptures, because we are, we are going to go through most of the scriptures where God promised about Israel and what his heart for Israel and all that. So I'm hoping that by the, by the, by the end of the fast, we, we at least, we get from the scripture, God's heart for Israel is, is narrative. You know, it's not a plan that he has put into place. And Israel is a key part in that. So hopefully we will come out of that with having some, you know, from, from from the Bible, what the Bible says about that. So, be cool. so yeah, each day we will, we will pray one hour, so from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30. And then on a Friday, so normally on Fridays, we have our, um, our, 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 our co-op come on a Friday. So on a Friday, we always we come together in a meeting. So the, from, from Sunday to Saturday, it's going to be online. And then on the um, on Friday, Right on a Friday, we will meet in person. Of course, if you can meet in person, you can also join us online as well. So Sunday all the way to Saturday is online, but on Friday we we'll meet together and at um, Chelsea Community Centre. Um, this year, sorry, which we we'll, we'll meet in person and we we we'll, we will do our normal Fridays, but it will, it will be focused on on Israel. So that is the plan for us. Again. Get in touch with me if you are interested and join us and I have you are so much invite and welcome to come because I'm so excited. Not about the fast, but about the prayer. <laughs> and the idea is that um the fast is I want to say it's optional in the sense that you can choose to do whatever you want, whatever fast you want to do. You can choose, you know, Daniel fast, choose fast, water fast, whatever, good for you. Or you can even you know, don't do the fast at all. It's up to you. The main idea is that we, we are coming together to focus. And obviously, fasting is a key part. Gosh, fast. We, I'm sure you all know what, what the benefits of fasting, so I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, but yeah, it's, it's optional to anyone. You can choose to fast or not. But that will be up to you and God, whatever fast you want to do. But the main that one hour a day, we are praying to come together to pray. And it will be on Zoom or with us, Google, um, Google Meet. Which I'll post a link, and then, then on a Friday we we'll come person. We do our normal two hours, two three hours um, set that we normally do, but again we focus on Israel. So that was the update I, I'm going to give, let you guys know. And again, 
can message me for any 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 more information more than happy to let you know and it'll be exciting okay so, so here i just want to take that. a very quick time a short time to talk about why prayer is time for israel now i'm not going to make specific to Isaiah 62 this friday to our co-op camp meeting i'll be speaking specifically on Isaiah 62 but i just want to talk generally why prayer and time for israel and then number four point four point which is like you know everyone probably know this already but it will be a, a, more like a reminder so my first point is why prefer israel well it's because your savior and my savior is a jewish man <laughs> right now sitting at the right hand of the father is a jewish man you no know, he, he referred to himself as the the root and the offspring of david you no know, revelation 5 revelation 22 he is the root and the offspring of david and he is the lion of the tribe of judah and this is what jacob prophesied about you know he is he's Jew and he's gonna remain Jew forever. And we know that you know, Lord has, has made God, God has tied himself with, with humanity. And we know that he did it specifically through one people group. And the savior of the world came through the Jews, and he's, he's a Jewish man. So we pray for Israel, specifically because our savior is Jew. And we know that Jesus have a heart for the whole ethnic group of the world, ethnic group of the nations to come. How much more is on people good? And can just think about the passion that Paul had for 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 for, for his people to come to salvation. How much more? And in fact, what 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 do you think where that came from? That even that came from Jesus himself. So he, he longed for his own people to come to salvation, just like he longed for the nations. And so that, and my second point time, my second point is we pray for Israel because Jesus has a passion for Jerusalem and for the land. I mean, this is so everyone in scripture I'm, I'm going to take one scripture but so many of them i am sam i'll tell you sam sam 132 verse 13 and this is referring to god here so it says for the lord has chosen zion zion being jerusalem he has desired it for his dwelling saying this is my resting place forever and ever here i will sit and throne for i have desire it and, and then it goes on you know talks about the, the provision I you can make this just think think about the motive word I have desire it for my dwelling place and say I will sit enthroned in this place forever and ever it's like he has a passion for the land and with the people and obviously when talking about you know, a passion for Jerusalem it's not it's not different to just just the land you know so whenever God talk about you know the nations is not just talking about the boundaries it's more than that but the people within that like people that within that boundary line so when talking about jerusalem talking about the people within the jerusalem people within within israel so he has a passion for the people and he has a passion so we pray for israel because our savior has a passion for it and if we desire the things that our savior desired for as well that's my second point my third point is we pray for Israel because when she comes to her destiny, we come to our destiny. When she receives her fullness, we receive our fullness. Paul makes the point that we, the Gentiles, are being engrafted into the promises, in, in, into the olive branch, the promise that we made to the Israelites. And therefore, praying for Israel, it's like praying for ourselves. It's praying for that we will come to our fullness because the Lord's narrative, is his, his redemptive plan is true that people issue that you and unless they come to their fullness we are not receiving our promises the promise the lord has made of us i mean he was talks about all the the, 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 the patriarchs are still waiting for their promise and that will come to pass when christ comes. when when the people in Israel call christ to come back and he comes so unless they receive their fullness we are not received so we pray for israel why? because we want to come to the fullness of what we promise in that sense so that's my thing. My fourth point is we pray for Israel because we have been called, in fact, one, not to be ignorant of the mystery of Israel. In Romans 11 25, no. But Paul mentioned that we should not be ignorant. Of, like Israel has come, has, has, has come to like a hardening in heart for, for a season, for a time. And there's a time coming when the whole remnant of Israel will be saved. And, and that will happen through, through, through the Gentiles because we're going to play a part into that. And therefore, we call not to be ignorant. So praying for Israel, call on us, like it places in the place for us to see 
God's redemptive plan that he has through the Jewish people in which we are going to help make that happen. So we pray for Israel so that we play our part into what God has planned, what God's his, his, his purpose and his, his, end, his plan is to bring redemption to the whole world. So we pray for Israel because our, our, our Savior is Jew. We pray for Israel because our Savior has a passion for Jerusalem, Israel. We pray for Israel because her destiny is our destiny. When she comes to her fullness, we come to her fullness. We pray for Israel because we've been warned not to be ignorant of Israel. It's hardening and its purposes because we have been called to help bring, uh, to help push her to take her place. The mystery of God. So that's my point. Anyway, you're welcome to join us um, this Friday. We meet to every Friday, but from May 7th to May 28th is when the fast starting. One hour every day you know, on Fridays, we meet together for two, for two, three hours as we seek and pray. So you're welcome to join us and let's play a part into what God is doing in our time. You know, and let's make his desire come to pass. For we know that our Lord loves for his people to come to know him. Because through them, the whole nation, the whole nations of the world will come into their destiny. Amen, amen. All right. Let's see you. And get in touch with me if you want anything, more information, and more than happy to share that with you. All right. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.